In 2004, the Canadian Children's Book Centre and the TD Bank Group announced a brand new annual Children's Book Award, the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award for the most distinguished book of the year. All genres written for young people are considered for this award. Since then, two titles have been selected every year, one in English and one en français. What is also exciting about this award is that the shortlisted books also receive prize money. So uh, just making it onto this list is, a, is actually a pretty huge deal. So for the English Award, thank you to Lisa Doucette, Sandra O'Brien, and Colette Poitra for all the time and energy that you put into selecting this year's shortlisted titles and winner. Now, here is a message from Andrea Barrick, the Global Head of Sustainability and Corporate Citizenship at TD Bank Group. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Barrett, Global Head Sustainability and Corporate Citizenship at TD Bank Group. Tonight I'm really pleased to introduce two awards that TD sponsors, one in English and one in French, the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award. This is the most distinguished book in both French and English each and every year. And we've been sponsoring it for over 15 years because we believe in the tremendous value both to readers and creators. Reading is so important for kids, particularly at a younger age. We know it's a critical building block for future success, whether that be personal or work. We know that reading can spark imagination and curiosity, but it also helps to develop critical thinking skills and problem solving, skills that we know are critical not only for today, but for the future. That's why children's literacy is such an important component of the Ready Commitment, TD Bank Group's corporate citizenship platform, which is really aimed at opening doors to a more inclusive tomorrow, a world where everyone has the skills to succeed. I'd like to really congratulate tonight's shortlisted finalists. Your work is really inspiring and helping to shape young minds. I'd also like to thank the jury who read hundreds of books in order to come up with this important shortlist. And finally, to tonight's winner, congratulations. TD Bank Group is so happy to support you to pursue your talents, really creating that more inclusive future for all of our children. The 2020 shortlisted titles for the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award, sponsored by TD Bank Group, are Birdsong, written and illustrated by Julie Flett, published by Greystone Kids. Broken Strings, written by Eric Walters and Kathy Kaser, published by Puffin Canada. It Began with the Page, How Gyo Fujikawa Drew the Way, written by Kyo McClear and illustrated by Julie Morstad, published by Tundra Books. Small in the City, written and illustrated by Sydney Smith, published by Groundwood Books. Stand on the Sky, written by Aaron Bow published by Scholastic Canada. And the winner is, drum roll please. How's this for you audio? I'm getting a thumbs up, it's all good. And the winner is, Birdsong by Julie Flett, published by Greystone Kids. Congratulations, Julie. And here is a video from Julie from her home in BC. Hi everyone, this is Julie Flett, and I'm here with Birdsong, and I'm going to read something for you. I'm so very grateful to everyone who's a part of the Canadian Children's Book Centre Book Awards, and to the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award, Kinanuska Matawo committee members, Lisa Doucette, Sandra O'Brien, and Colette Patra. I'm incredibly humbled to have received this recognition alongside all of the TD finalists, my dear friends, Keo McClare and Julie Morstad, and all of the beautiful kids book makers nominated for this extraordinary award, Eric Walters and Kathy Kaser, Sydney Smith and Aaron Bow. And a big warm congratulations to our wonderful team at Greystone, Rob Sanders, our publisher, Callie George, our editor, Sarah Gillingham, our picture book editor, and everyone on our extraordinary team, Kinanuska Matawa. And I'm thinking about my community today and so glad for the work we're doing to get our books out into the world that reflect our experiences, all my relations. 
I'm so glad to be able to share this celebration of friendship with kids. Birdsong is inspired by people in my life. I used to take long walks in a neighborhood I lived in, and I'd stop at one house that looked almost like a cabin with big trees and an ungroomed but beautiful yard. In the spring, the yard was covered in snowdrops, and one day a woman came out onto the front balcony. I said, I love the snowdrops, and she said, I know. She'd seen me over the last few weeks. We had a chat and slowly got to know each other over the next year. I learned that she was a ceramics artist. About a year before I moved away from that neighborhood, she dropped off a little bag of snowdrop bulbs on my doorstep. No note, just the snowdrops. I kept them for a while in my studio before planting them. The story kept coming up for me, and I knew that I wanted to share a story for children, with children about the connections we have with the people in our communities. After I lost my mom, I found myself thinking about the snowdrops. They got me through the loss, along with a few other things, traditional teachings, a kind neighbor, plants in the spring, drawing, my son, and bird song. I still have the drawing my son made for my mom before she passed. It's what kids do, they bring their most tender hearts. It's still hard for me to look at the drawing, but after writing bird song, less so. Once I felt I could share some of these things in a gentle way with kids, everything came together, including some of my own childhood experiences, and now my sons, of family and extended family coming together to care for one another and to support those going through loss and transition. I'm always surprised by what children take away from this book. It's often something I hadn't expected, and I find that one of the most interesting and rewarding parts of sharing stories. Thank you again, Canadian Children's Book Centre Book Awards and the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award for this honour for the story of Birdsong. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing your masterful and beautiful creation with us. There was clearly a lot of passion and love that went into it, and we appreciate it. This award is certainly well-deserved.